Okay, we'll start off by cutting uh, 30 inch pieces, 30 inch boards off uh, a one by six. And we're gonna cut seven of them. All right guys, so we're gonna um, sand these down with some 80 grit and then hit it with 120. So uh, this is all the material for the headboard, so we're gonna get to it. Watch your hand, baby. All right guys, we got all the lumber sanded up. This is gonna be all for the headboard and this is all gonna be for the footboard. And we're just gonna get on with it and get on to the next step. Okay guys, we're gonna start on the headboard. We'll lay out our boards, lay them all out first, then we'll get them, we'll get them square. Take your one by four, and you want them flush on the ends. So here's the top. I'm gonna prep the legs. What I'm gonna do is countersink some countersink some. Okay. Perfect. We're going to go ahead and Put our panel in place. So what I'm gonna do is just drill a couple holes in here to tie this in. So we, now we got that, we're gonna, we're going to flip this thing over. Got our headboard, take our four or two by four. So now we're gonna mount the two by six. Remember to only glue the middle because that's the only thing touching. There's your headboard. So you're gonna have one, you're gonna have one like this, and you're gonna have one like this, okay? We are gonna put these on like, that we're gonna have two by four come in here, so that's how it's gonna look. What's cool about these screws is they're designed to countersink for you. They have a little groove on them, like teeth, right here. So you really don't need a countersinking bit. So what I want to do is make a four-inch space. And then mark my next. Okay. I'm gonna attach panel. Okay. Okay, we can. Should be able to flip it over down. Do what we need to do the other side. Keep in mind, we have to stay within this. We have to stay within this two by four region, or. If you don't, it's gonna go through. So just keep that in mind. What we got now here is our footboard. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our two by four top. Two by six. We're making progress. Okay guys, so you can see where it's smooth now. 
is where all of our holes were. Go ahead. Tell me what you can do. All right, guys, we're going to uh, fill in these cracks. We have some cracks in here. It just it didn't line up to where it was perfect. Repuncture it and get it working. Paper towel, CJ. So for one, I'm going to take some measurements because we are going to make a modification. So the first thing is my mattress is nine inches deep. And I'm going to give myself basically a, a quarter inch to play with there. So I'm going to go down nine and a quarter. And now I have to go from nine and a quarter, I have to go down uh, three and a half inches for my two by four. Because my two by four is going to come in here. And I got to place that where that's going to be one, two, three, three and a half. And I also have to take into account my uh my slates my slates boards it's five eighths a five eighths inch thick so i gotta take into account that so just to keep my mattress from going up higher i'm gonna take into account that extra five eighths inch that's five eighths so this is gonna be the bottom since i have to take my measurement down to here, since I changed plans, okay, and my mattress is nine and a half, nine inches, my two by four and the five eighths inch for the slate board, to keep all that in play, I had to come down to right here. What that means is I have to take this out. So I gotta take that out. I'm gonna cut that out. And the reason why I'm gonna cut that out is because the original plan was to put the two by four in here and just drill it in, but I want something that's more secure that's gonna last forever. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these brackets in here and play. So this is going to go on the end of the, the two by four, right? And this is going to be in there forever. So when it sits in, it's locked in place, but I have to cut this out because I have no room to actually get this in and out. What we have are these little brackets. We're gonna mount them. We're gonna mount them right here. When this is on the edge of the rail, it's gonna come in here and just slide like that. So I'm gonna put these instead of these, just to have it a little more sturdy. Two inch number eight screws with the little star. Nine and an eighth on that inner corner, okay? Nine and an eighth. That's the bottom. I kept these clamps so they wouldn't warp and be all, all over the place. We're gonna go, um, we're gonna go 78 inches on these just to give a little wiggle room on both sides. Okay, my boards right here are 78 inches. They're a little bit on the inside of the board. So I'm gonna cut by my one by 10 a little bit shorter, maybe a quarter inch shorter or three eighths inch shorter. Then uh, we'll start with a quarter and then we might have to go three eighths inch to get it perfect to fit right here. Uh, these two by fours are 78. This is uh, 77 and a quarter to get it to work. That is in there. It is not going anywhere. Okay guys, for, so for my outer board, I just put a line five and a half inches up so it'll all be straight on here. I'm gonna put some wood glue and then clamp it on. So what you would do is just use the two inch screws. So I've got these two, two inch screws, number eights, and get you a helper to help you get the first couple ones in. And then the rest is, Thirty-seven, thirty-seven and three quarters. And you'll see. Just put a couple of staples in these. Good job. 
So I'm gonna put these little three inch plates on, give it a little stability. So what's up guys? Uh, we got this polyester ribbon at uh, Hobby Lobby and uh, we got two yards for each side. But we made a mistake because we, we had them cut this ribbon in the store and they have a 40% off coupon for anything that's not on sale. But since we cut it, since we cut it in the store, we only got 40% off this one item. So they ring this up as one item, these two yards. And the other two yards was not part of the 40% off. So if you're going to go this route, if you're going to go this route, just get the four yards and then cut it when you get home. That way you get 40% off the whole item. So let's do a little walkthrough. So here's the bed. All right, all the dimensions will be in the description. So come in a closer look. Pretty solid, guys. It's not moving. Those, uh, those mending plates really do help. And uh, I put one in all four corners. So let's get a closer look at this thing. Anyway, there it is. You can tell it's pretty firm. Pretty nice setup for a young man or lady. So there it is. Will this hold my child? Well, I weigh about 330 pounds. Should be okay. This project costs us about 150, 155 bucks. Everything we use will be in the description. Uh, if you liked it, hit the like button for us. Consider subscribing to our channel, and we'll see you on the next project. Thank you.